today had all the makings of a fairy tale end to the regular season for the Syracuse Orange with Senior Day, the Play for K game, and the number two team in the country coming to the Dome all on the same day. But somebody forgot to write the end to the fairy tale as North Carolina State came away with the victory today, 68 to 61. That despite Kiara Lewis putting up her best game of the season, 29 points on 12 of 23 shooting from the floor, but it was not enough to combat Syracuse's woes from outside, just four of 24 from three-point land. The duo of Alyssa Kinane and Jada Boyd for NC State put up 17 and 16 points respectfully. Syracuse made a big run in the second half, but a couple balls did not bounce their way, and the Wolfpack came away with the victory. So much attention today, of course, was on Tiana Mangakahia playing her final game at the Dome, but today's loss left both Quentin Hillsman lamenting and Tiana reflecting on a great career at Syracuse. This is one of those games where you just did disappoint because you have an opportunity to beat a really good team on your on your home floor and close out your home, close out your home stand. Now they know it's home. I mean, it just didn't get it done. Kiki was phenomenal tonight. With 29 points, she was really in attack mode. And, and you know she really kept us in the basketball game. You know it wasn't it wasn't whatever we lost this game by 20 plus points. Um, she was she was a, a phenomenal. It's been such a journey, and so I just like walking off the court. Like I just felt very grateful and thankful to be to commit to Syracuse out of my JUCO. I wouldn't have wanted to go anywhere else. Now today's loss didn't just have emotional implications for the team, but practical ones as well when it comes to ACC tournament seeding. The team will likely end up as a number six seed, which means they would take on number 11 seed Clemson next week before battling number three seed Florida State if they were to be victorious. They could end up as a seven seed as well, putting them on the same side of the bracket as North Carolina State. That's all next week in Greensboro. Citrus TV Sports will have coverage for you as it is your home for all things SU Athletics. This is James Cargan for one last time saying good night from the Dome.